for your grace and mercy. This is Chatty from the Word with your host, your brother, Brother Oscar York. And we are so delighted to bring you this program at this time. And we hope that you all are ready to receive this program at this time. We hope all had a good morning, you had a good breakfast, and we hope all had a good afternoon, you had a good lunch, and now you're ready to receive some more nutrition, some spiritual food from the Word of God and Teddy from the Word. Again, we are so delighted to be with you once again and to bring you this program. Yes, we are. And we are so blessed to be able to be coming on and to be able to praise the Lord and, and glad that you are listening to Brother Oscar York here on uh, Chatting from the Word. The Lord has blessed us all with another day. We are on this side of heaven. He created this day just for you and for me. Giving us another chance, another chance to make it right with him. Another chance to be closer and closer with him. And that is a blessing, my friends, within itself. That's going to be the, 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 the biggest blessing the Lord has blessed us with so far is with another day. And we can all say that uh, the psalmist says in Psalm 103, verse 1 and 2, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that's within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Sometimes we we get taken for granted that the Lord will... Uh, uh, we take it for granted that the Lord... We'll just will bless us with another day. But it's a blessing just to open your eyes up in the morning, my friends. It's a blessing just to be able to, to, to smell the fresh air and to be able to see the sun rise and the sunset. We're here in Miamisburg, Ohio. We, we're doing all right. Weather-wise, it's 59 degrees, cloudy with a 100% chance of rain. Uh, they say this is uh, spring, springtime. Springtime, uh, the day begins springtime on this evening. We'll uh, uh, urge in springtime and and that's a blessing within itself that the Lord allowed us to see another spring and another summer when it comes, when it gets here. But we're just so blessed to be with you on today. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. And we have a wonderful show for you today. We really do. We have a wonderful show lined up for you today. Uh, of course, we are going to uh, still be in our lesson under grace, taken from Romans 6, 12 through 23. And when we get to the point of that point of uh, the uh, program, have your Bibles out so that you can study along with your brother here, Brother Oscar York, so that we can get a good understanding of Paul's letter to the uh, Roman uh, church. And of course, uh, we have one selection uh, of, of, of uh, one selection of songs, and that would be the Electrifying Easterners, directed by Stacy Wells Young, featuring Alicia Carroll. Yes, Lord, Medley. So, my friends, just relax. Go have a, 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 a beverage of your favorite, a uh, <laughs> cup of your favorite beverage. Uh, if it's coffee, tea, milk, pot, 
whatever it may be, except the hard stuff now. And just relax and recline, my kid. Just recline on out. You at home anyway. Or just stretch out on your couch. Or just stretch out on the floor. While you're listening to your brother here, Brother Oscar York. Now, if you're driving, keep your eyes on the road. But you can still listen to Brother Oscar York here. Now, chatting from the word. Now, if you're exercising, pumping iron, trying to get your muscles all defined or fine defined, or trying to lose weight. Keep on exercising, but put your earbuds on so that you can keep on listening to your brother here, Brother Oscar York, on chatting from the Word. All right, all right, all right. We will be right back after these messages. (coughs) All right, all right, we're back, we're back, and we're glad to be back. And uh, we hope that you feel the same. And as promised, our only selection for today would be the electrifying Eastern Airs, directed by Stacy Wells Young, featuring Alicia Carroll. Yes, Lord, let me. Yes, Lord, let me. And here. We here we go. Yes, Lord, let me by the Eastern Airs. And here we go. Oh. 
Directed by Stacewell Hill, featuring Alisa Alisi Carroll. Yes, Lord Netley. And we all should say yes to the Lord, especially if one day we want to live for all eternity and go to heaven. All right, all right, all right. I would like to remind our listeners that you are listening to Chatting from the Word, hosted by your brother here, Brother Oscar York, on the uh, the spherical platform. We are chatting about the Word from the Word and putting a smack in your Christian world. Yes, we are. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Amen, thank you. Uh, we are at our prayer time, and if you have a prayer request that you want uh, Brother Oscar to pray for here on uh, Chatting from the Word, uh, just email it to me. My email address is lowercase. Oscar York 3443 at gmail.com. Now, if you're listening to us live, and I hope you are, I hope many do become, uh, been, begin to listen to us live, you can uh, go to the chat room and put your prayer request there. We don't have no one yet in the chat room, but if you're listening to us live, you always can use the chat room to chat with your brother during the show, or you can put your prayer request uh, there. Before we approach the throne of grace, we want to read uh, First Timothy. First Timothy, if you have your Bibles, First Timothy uh, 2, 1 through 4. Here Paul wrote to this, his young protege, his son in the faith, he called Timothy on several occasions. And in uh, chapter 2 of his first letter to Timothy, Paul penned these words. He said, I thought, therefore, that first of all, supplications, prayers, intercessions, and giving of thanks be made for all men, for kings, and for all that are in authority, that we may lead a quiet and peaceful life in all godliness and honesty. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of, our, our, uh, of God, our Savior, who will have all men to be saved and to come unto the knowledge of the truth. Amen and amen. My friends, we definitely need to pray for uh, all men, as Paul said here, especially our leaders politically, because uh, Dealing with the corona uh, uh, virus uh, uh, and the spread of it, and uh, and uh, with many businesses closing and schools closing, and uh, people must stay home and be quarantined at home so that uh, they won't spread uh, the coronavirus. You know, it's not an easy task. Uh, to take on the problem of a disease that just running rapid. And if you're like me, you listen to the news uh, uh, maybe three or four times a day, especially MSNBC News, and you see the president himself making speeches almost every day 
on with uh, this uh, disease, and and uh, we must get on top of it, my friends, because you have so many that is contracting it, uh, and you have so many uh, that is dying from it. So what we need to do is to pray uh, that that be found a cure. Pray that many be in uh, obedient to the law and con uh, uh, con uh, quarantine themselves so that they would not spread the disease. We hope and pray others will think of others and and if they have it, they stay quarantined or if they have uh, flu-like uh, symptoms that they will quarantine uh, themselves. And we also want to pray, of course, for the Nashville, Tennessee, uh, the tornado that hit there about a month ago now. We want to pray uh, that uh, they will recover. And we want to pray for all of our listeners. And we want to pray uh, for the body of Christ. Will you bow with me, please? Our Father, which art in heaven. Father, we come to you in the humblest way we know how. With our hearts and our minds lifted up to you. Father, first of all, thanking you for this wonderful day you have allowed us to see. We, thou are on this side of heaven. Thank you, Father, for waking us up this morning and allowing us to see the sunrise and the sunset. Oh, Father, we come thanking you for so many blessings, Father. The main blessing is to thank you for allowing your son, Jesus, to come down on this cruel world and die a cruel death, taking our place on the cross so that we may have salvation. Oh, Father, we come praying for uh, the corona uh, virus is those that are contacting it, uh, those that have died from it. Father, we pray, Father, that you comfort them, uh, heal their bodies, those that are sick and those that have lost loved ones. Father, comfort them, put your loving arms around them, so that they may receive the comfort that they need at this time. Father, we come praying for uh, the political leaders at this time, our president and his staff. Father, we pray that they will uh, find a cure and, and find uh, the best solution for this cor cor coronavirus so that uh, the numbers will go down and Many would not contract it, and many would not die from it. So, Father, we come uh, praying for the body of Christ, the church of Christ. Father, we pray that we can keep on preaching truth, that we can keep on telling the world truth as it is contained in uh, your word. Oh, Father, we come praying for each listener. We pray, Father, that you be with them. Help them through all the chaos and the troubles and the storms that they are facing at this time. Allow them to know that if they put their hands in your unchanging hands, everything will be all right. So, Father, we come praying for this program, telling from the Word. Help us, Father, to keep us on the air. Help us to keep chatting about the Word from the Word. Help us to keep putting a snap in the Christian walk. Help us, Father, that we can always be a light in the community, many communities that we are coming on at. And Father, we come praying for the message under grace. Father, help us to say the right things that may call someone to think about their soul salvation. May call someone to think about going to heaven and living for the Lord. In Jesus' name do we pray. Amen and amen. And as always, I want to thank you for praying along with Brother Oscar York here. We hope that we prayed for something that was on your mind. Now, uh, 
At this time, we always ask you to watch the program. If you're not watching it, start watching it. And we want to thank those who are your first time listening, not watching, listening, so you stand watching or listening to the program. If it's your first time uh, listening to the program, we want to welcome you uh, to the program. We hope that you're enjoying listening to Brother Oscar here on Chatting from the word we hope that you are listening to the program please listen to the program and if you are share this program with your friends with your neighbors with your uh your, your kin people or your your loved ones allow them to know that christ is very much alive and won't fail to be in the body of christ so keep on listening to brother oscar here tell others about uh, this program that comes on at 2. And when you listen to us, like us here on Chatting from the Word Be Your Spherical Platform and follow us. Follow us here so that when the program is on or airing, that they will notify you through your email that we are on and you can watch, listen to us live in the living color. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Um, if you ever want to get in contact with your brother, if you ever want to contact with your brother and talk with your brother, of course, uh, you can email me. My email address again is lowercase oscaryark3443 at gmail.com. And uh, we do have a page on Facebook, Chatting from the Word, hosted by Oscar York. That's OscarYorkPublishing.com. You can uh, uh, leave a line or two there. Or you can go to our webpage again. It's OscarYorkPublishing.com. And leave a line or two there. But while you're on our webpage, we do have a bookstore. I have authored two books. My first book is A Peace of Place in the Storms. God is in control. We sell for twenty one fifty, and the second book is Bridges of Friendships, which also sell for twenty one fifty. And if you want to purchase both books, both books are forty three dollars. And we hope that you do that. Uh, uh, visit OscarPublishing dot com and order your book. All proceeds will go towards this program. Chatting from the Word. So go do it today after the sh after you listen to the show. Go buy a book from OscarYorkPublishing.com and read. Now you know my motto. When you read, you get knowledge. And with knowledge comes power. 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 Yes, it does. Our internet networks that we come on is Our Chaser, Deezer, Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, Spotify, Google Podcasts, Castbox, Podcast Addict, Verica, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Instagram, and YouTube. And if you desire a direct link, go to your Google Play or App Store and download the Verica Podcast app. And once you down, have it downloaded, Look us up, Chatting from the Word, hosted by Oscar. And once you find us, put us in your favorite. So when 2 o'clock comes, you can go to your podcast and listen to us live. And we can spend a good time praising the Lord and worshiping uh, together. Amen, amen, and amen. We will be right back after these messages. All right, all right, all right. We are back. We are back. And we are glad to be back. And we hope that you have a copy of God's Word so that you can study along with your brother here, Brother Oscar York. And of course, we're still coming from Romans 6. Uh, verses 12 through 23. Romans is the letter that Apostle Paul wrote 
to the Roman Christians, uh, teaching them about love and grace and mercy. And in Romans 6, Paul is talking about being under grace. And in verse uh, 14, Paul says these words. Paul says, For sin shall not have dominion over you, for ye are not under the law, but under grace. Now here Paul used the word dominion. And the word dominion means having control over you. And we as Christians, we should not allow, allow sin to control us. The only uh, uh, person we should allow to control us is Jesus Christ, our Lord. And he goes on, on to say, for ye are not under the law. And what we're also going to do for uh, a little while is to discuss being under the law. And the law that Paul is talking about here, he's talking about the law that Moses received on Mount Sinai. And what I want to do is compare being under the law to being under grace. And you will see a big difference. First of all, turn with me to the Galatian letter that Paul wrote to the Galatian church. And uh, Galatians uh, 5. And we want to read what Paul uh, says there quickly. And uh, we will read that and the lesson will be yours. Uh, comparing the law with being under grace. And that we are Galatians 5, 4 through 6. Paul said, and well, let's start with verse 3. Paul said, For I testify again to every man that is circumcised that he is debtor to do the whole law. Christ is become of no effect unto you. What, 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 what Paul is saying here, that if you are keeping the law, and he mentioned the circumcision point of the law, he said that Christ has become of no effect to you. And, he, and Paul had a reason for saying that. But let me keep on reading. It says that Christ has become of no effect unto you. Whosoever of you are justified by the law, ye are fallen from grace. Isn't that something, my friends? If you're going back to the law and claim that you're under the law or try to live under the law when no one could, you have fallen from grace. And then Paul said, For we through the Spirit wait for the hope of righteousness by faith. For in Jesus Christ neither circumcision availeth anything, nor uncircumcision, but faith which worketh by love. And my friends, that's what really grace is all about. Grace is about love. It was love that put Christ on the cross. It was love that Christ took our place. That should have been us. But Christ died in our place, bringing salvation down so that you and I may have salvation. Now turn with me quickly to Galatians 3. Galatians 3, 21 through 20. Uh, 21 through 29. I'm going to read it quickly for you and finish it up tomorrow. And here Paul said, Is the law been against the promises of God? God forbid. For if there had been a law given which could have been, could have given life, really righteousness, should have been by the law. 
But the scriptures have concluded all under season that the promise by faith of Jesus Christ might be given to them that believe. But before faith came, we were kept under the law, shut up unto the faith, which ye afterwards be revealed. Wherefore the law was our schoolmaster to bring us unto Christ, that we might be justified by faith. Now you can see why Paul said, if you are still under the law, Christ has no effect because the law wasn't about love, but, but it was about keeping the one, two, threes, and the ABCs, okay? So we're going to finish it tomorrow, and we're going to start right here tomorrow, okay? So join us tomorrow as we are still studying from the book of Romans 6, 12, and 23 under Greeks. And I don't know about you, my friends, but I am so glad that we are under grace. Amen. So join us tomorrow so that we can finish this fine, uh, fine lesson. It is time for us to say our goodbyes. We are so glad that you joined us today. And if this is your first time listening to us, we want to say welcome to the show. And keep on listening. Don't stop listening to us here at Chatty from the Word. All right, will you pray with me, please? Our Father, which art in heaven, now thou be thy name, Father. We thank you for this day. We thank you, Father, for this wonderful time that we had to spend with all of our listeners. And Father, now uh, may the grace of God, sweet communion of the Holy Spirit, rest, rule, and abide with us until we meet again. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. And as always, it was nice chatting with you today from chatting from the word bye bye we see you all on tomorrow Peace and you.